Okay, let's take a look at our session variables and how we can edit those. I'm going to click on the session variables link in the settings pane. As you can see, it brings up this dialog here that contains all our session variables as we set them in our wizard. So, for example, earlier in the chapter when we were going through the wizard and we set up our product title and whatnot, this particular um, portion of the application assigned those to variable names. So we can use the variable name product name, for example, throughout our project and it'll refer to the value that we set up here. We can come back later and just change that value if we want. And the nice thing is that Setup Factory is in, is storing and retrieving our values that were last used. So if we're coming here to build up, for example, a new setup for a new application, um, but it's the same company, same copyright name, uh, same website URL, for example, we just have to change that title, that product name, and that's it. And basically we can we're ready to go. So basically let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So we've got Headline Grabber set up as our product name. Let's change that now. Let's call this the IR forum feed, okay, just so that we know this has been edited. We're going to go ahead and take that variable product name. Let's go into our background window setting here and set that up as our heading, just so that we can test it. So we'll say product name. All right, let's go ahead and put that 3D effect back on. We'll press OK. We'll take a look at what we've done here and then we'll come back. So I'm going to publish that. I'm going to run that sample. As you can see here, the data that shows up in the upper left is the words IR forum feed, which is what we changed that variable to. So in other words, that variable, I'm going to go back into our project, that variable that we've installed in the background window here is just referring uh, to the value that we set up in our session variable. So we can go now, if we would like, to the session variables and change that, and it will automatically be changed in our background window. So if we come back here and we change this back to headline grabber, then we rebuild our project here and we go ahead and audition the changes, what we're going to find is that the new value is present where the old value used to be. As you can see here, there it is, headline grabber. Okay, so this concept of session variables is basically um, a convenient workflow feature that allows you to go ahead and um, work throughout your projects without having to worry about these details. Setup Factory stores your last used details and then brings them back for your next project like this uh, when you use the wizard as, as you've been seeing throughout the, the building that we've been doing. And it's very, very handy. We come in here and everything's set up. We don't have to mess around too much. Or if we want to go ahead and change a value throughout our entire project, now we could have 15, 20 screens that use the same information. Uh, we only have to come back here and change this one single instance of this. So it's important important to uh, be aware of session variables and leverage them uh, in your workflow to simplify things and you know basically allow you to get more stuff done um, in a shorter amount of time. And I encourage you of course to go through here and to take a look at the different uh, values here and what they're doing and experiment. But suffice to say this is a basic overview of what the session variables are and how they work. They're variables that we set up that are available throughout our entire session.